everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am bringing you a review that is highly, highly requested and it is a review of this perfume by Carolina Herrera and this is called CH Men. This came to the market in 2009. It has been around for six years. I can't believe that. I haven't tried it until recently. So today it is time to give you my opinion on this fragrance. So if you are interested in learning more about this fragrance or knowing my opinion on this fragrance, then please keep watching. So this is the bottle and this is how it looks like. Unfortunately, I do not have the box. I'm not sure how it looks. But anyway, let's start with the presentation of the bottle. You remember that I reviewed uh, the uh, CH Men Sport before I moved to review this one. And to be honest, the presentation is pretty similar to the other flanker, but this one preceded the other one. We have this leather front detail glued into the glass. It is very chic and very nice, and it has like a kind of stitching edges in red. It is very nice and very original. I like the presentation, to be honest. And the juice is not blue. It is like a gray, a dark gray, blackish gray juice. Of course, the cap is pretty secure. It is not magnetic, but it clicks. So if you hold it from the top, it is not going to fall. Let's try the distribution of this. It is pretty nice actually, but I haven't sprayed it on myself. So try again. All right. The atomizer is pretty good and I think this would work if you spray it from a distance or if you spray it up close because it is not like squirting, it is like... I now understand why many people, many of my subscribers asked me to review this every time I make a top 5, top 10 videos they asked me to review this fragrance because they thought that it is an excellent, excellent scent and guys, you're right, this is a great, very original, very special type of fragrance it is the perfect mixture of leather and vanilla so if you are looking for a fragrance that is going to be perfect for colder weathers and you like something sweet, vanilla-like, but it is not very sickly or feminine. The way the leather is blended into the vanilla in this one is just beyond perfection. I think this is one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. And this fragrance was launched in 2009, but I really do not understand why not many people talk about it. And I know from experience, when I go to department stores to look for new fragrances, I do not find a stand for Carolina Herrera. So this is a shame actually, because it's amazing. Probably they hold a couple of fragrances like the VIP or Sexy or something like that. I haven't tried that one, but they say it's good. Let me know if you want me to review that one. I'll do that. But anyway, we're talking about this. It's a shame that it was very difficult for me to get my hand on a bottle of this fragrance here in the UK. And that's why I got a bottle that has no box. The opening of this fragrance is green and citrusy. But when I first spray it, I just feel that the citruses really disappear very quickly. And you start to get a whiff of the middle notes with the violet. It is very prominent here. Violet with jasmine. I do not smell lots of jasmine, but it is enriched with woodsy notes. So I think this sweeter, more powdery, woodsy composition in the heart works perfectly well with the notes to come as this perfume starts to dry down on your skin. But if I want to talk about the opening, it is non-existent. I do not really smell that much of a citrus or greenness in the opening. If I want to compare this to the other flanker, the newer one, the CH Men Privé, which I'm going to review later, the opening of that one really attracts your attention. So when you spray it, you get a whiff or a sense of the top notes. With this one, I think it is straight middle and then gradually base notes and I do not find this to be anything bad to be honest because I love what I'm smelling violet and woodsy notes as you move it is just a beautifully composed leather note with vanilla you have amber vetiver tonka bean you have everything that speaks sweetness sexiness attractiveness warmth this is just amazing guys I'm so thankful for all the people who suggested that I try this one and it was worth looking for and trying to get. I know that I talk a lot, I'm a descriptive person, but if I want to be concise and want to describe this fragrance, is it rich? Yes. Is it sexy? Yes. Is it original? 
it is original and it is at the same time so warm so sweet and so leathery at the same time I think it is amazing I'm not sure if this is similar to Tom Ford tobacco vanille because I haven't tried that one please let me know because uh, instead of the leather we have tobacco of course but we have vanilla as well let me know if you've tried that one, if you prefer this one or the other one, or if they are any similar, I'm not sure. So for originality of the scent, I would give this fragrance a 9 out of 10, or probably a 10 out of 10, because I haven't smelled anything similar to this one. Especially that the leather and the vanilla here are really prominent and really work very well together. And second, if I want to talk about longevity, Longevity is beyond amazing. It is 12 hours plus of the skin and you still smell the leather and the vanilla on your skin later on. Projection, I would give this a 10 out of 10. I remember my husband was uh, wearing it one day. I met him at the train station and I just, just was able to recognize that he was wearing this one. And in the colder weather when it is so cold and windy you just feel like someone is wearing a very nice masculine vanilla scent and he is wearing a brand new leather jacket that smells really original and like genuine leather if you know what i mean so i think this is brilliant if you want to try it i'd highly recommend trying this and if you want my opinion is this a blind buy this is definitely a blind buy. Buy it, I'm sure that you will love it, especially if you are going to wear it when it is a bit cold. I'm not sure if this is going to work in the summer. I don't think it works in hot temperatures. It would be too much. The leather and the vanilla, amber, vetiver, everything is just going to be extra rich. So if you are moving towards autumn or winter, this is amazing and I highly recommend that you try it and thank you so much again for all the people who recommended that I review and try this one. So this was everything for today. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and that you found this review helpful and that it satisfied your curiosity about my opinion on this fragrance. I love it. I give it a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments if this is similar to Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford, which one is better because I'm really curious to know about the similarities or the differences and of course let me know if you have tried this and do not forget to enter my giveaway because it's going to be open till the end of January 2016 and I'll see you again very soon. Until then as usual please be safe. Bye guys.